A battle royale in Malacca as the Malaysian state heads to the polls tomorrow. It's an election that will be a major test for new Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob. Melissa Go joins us live now from Malacca for more on this story. Melissa, the state polls are said to be a key indicator for the wider general elections. Well, it is the first state election since Prime Minister Ismail Sabri took office in August. Now, Malacca electorate pretty much represents the ethnic racial composition in Malaysia. That's majority Malay, semi-urban, lots of mixed seats here. It used to be a stronghold for Amnulet Barisan Nasional for some 60 years. That is until 2018, when Barisan Nasional was ousted by opposition Pakatan Harapan. Now, BN is back and can't wait to reassert its dominance here. So the outcome of the Malacca state polls will be closely scrutinized by all sides to gauge the voting trend, to figure out the right formula before going into the next general election, rumored to be held next year. Now, because for the first time, we're also seeing three major coalition, Barisan Nasional, Perikatan Nasional, and Pakatan Harapan competing for the same Malay votes. And all three as governing, they have governing experience, they are promising stability. So voters, many whom I spoke with in Malacca, they are confused and undecided. So how they respond tomorrow when polling begins at 8 a.m. will be a litmus test. It's hard to predict because the turnout may not be high because of the ongoing pandemic and also for the first time we are seeing a lot of first timers 60 percent of candidates are below the age of 40 and many wild cards here so we'll see the preliminary results can be expected as early as 8 p.m tomorrow hard to gauge what the polls will bring at melbourne but what will the different outcomes signal well the outcome will have significant implication on Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob, uh, who's been only made one appearance throughout the 12-day campaigning period here in Malacca. Now, if BN led uh, by his party AMNO were to win big here in Malacca, he may have to yield all seat to his party leader's demands further. Although Ismail Sabri is the prime minister, he's not the party president. Ahmad Zaid is. Uh, the former president, Najib himself, they have been campaigning on the ground as well. The election is crucial for their survivals. Both are standing trial for corruption. Now, I spoke with Mr. Zahid, who's just returned from Germany after his third jury, and he said he's very encouraged by the response on the ground. Chinese votes, he said, are slowly coming back to BN. Uh, people want stability, he said, but the possibility of a hung state assembly cannot be ruled out at this point, analysts say, given the uncertainties on the ground. Now, let's take a listen to Zahid uh, when I asked him earlier. I reckon uh, we are able to form uh, a new government under the flagship of Barisan National. Now, there is no anti-party hopping law currently in the country, although all sides said they want to do that. Now, Prime Minister Ismail Sabri, who has a, a really short runway before the next elections, will want to ensure that his government, which comprises Muhyiddin Lat Perikatan Nasional and BN, can work together and not against each other. Now, the Malacca State Post may just produce the results that allows him to do that. But the opposition Pakatan Harapan is also going all out as well. Its chief minister candidate, Adli Zahari, is aiming for 18 seats, more than the simple majority in order to wrest back his state government that was cut short due to the defections. Now, all eyes are on Malacca election. Next up is Sarawak election, uh, most probably in December. Now, their outcomes will determine when Prime Minister Ismail Sabri will call for general election. Mel, thank you for that look ahead to tomorrow's polls. Melissa Go there in Malacca.